Hello traders, uh, today is the 21st of April 2010 and this is the second part of the video regarding the RSI indicator, the relative strength indice, okay? And uh, this uh, tool is a powerful tool in the arsenal of the professional trader and the smart traders, okay? A very excellent indicator, okay? I do not want to go back into the creation of uh, this uh, indicator, how they calculate it. I'm more interested into how this can make money for us or cut our losses okay this is what i'm interested in as a day trader okay so if you want to know more about the rsi indicator you can uh, google this information and uh, there are plenty of information on the internet okay a lot of lovely traders give us a lot of information regarding this indicator okay i'm giving you here some tips that you can use a practical tool okay i'm more interested into things that can work okay if it's working it's good for us okay because uh, we are not here just um, to trade for hobby but we are trading also for business uh, uh, interest okay so here uh, i was uh, in the first part of the video i was telling you the relationship between the rsi period 14 and the bollinger band uh, uh, 50 volatility too okay anytime you will see right here if you follow my cursor here the rsi 14 is oversold and the price is also at the lower band bollinger band okay and uh, also here if you see here the in the down in a strong this is what you need to also notice this is very important in a strong downtrend in a strong downtrend okay the price will uh, move between the lower bollinger band and the the simple moving at 50 so the price will be riding below the the simple moving at 50 in a strong downtrend okay and also in a strong uptrend the price will be riding above the simple moving at 50 okay that's how you know so when you are in a strong downtrend you will notice that uh, when the rsi is uh, overbought the price will be at the simple moving of a 50 okay because it's squeezed be between the lower bollinger band and also and the middle uh, line of the bollinger band okay that's what's happened during the strong downtrend okay so when you are in a strong downtrend okay you will be selling okay at the edge of the uh, simple moving of 50 when the the RSI indicator is also overbought, okay? But you do not just sell because it touches the simple moving of 50 or because I'm saying that, but you, you sell it after the trailer is broken or after you examine that uh, there is a truly, truly a bearish pressure or, a, or distribution or supply at that key level, okay? The same thing here, you notice here, uh, the price touches uh, the, 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 the simple moving at 50, but the, the RSI was still below the, 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 the 50 line, okay? The middle line of the RSI, okay? The zone below the, 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 the 50 line of the RSI is bearish, and the zone above the, the, the 50 line of the of the RSI is bullish, okay? But uh, this indicator of uh, RSI is just like um, a simple moving at 50 that we are comparing the price to. It's like uh, whenever you see the price above the simple moving at 50, we are in the bullish zone, and whenever we are below the the, 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 the simple moving at, 50, moving at 50, we are in a bearish zone. But we don't just say it's a bearish zone, we access also the bearish pressure, okay, in order to confirm that uh, what the indicator is telling us is true or not, okay? Because they are just indicating something okay we they indicate to us something we assess it okay for those who are aware of um, uh, this um, those who use uh, transport system okay you see the signal okay if the if the road signal is telling you green okay you assess if there is a pedestrian crossing the roads before you start moving okay that's correct isn't it okay the same thing we do in trading when indicator give us the signal we don't just go okay if you do that in the road traffic you will kill a lot of people okay so you got the green line or, or you got the yellow line or the orange line or the amber lines light to proceed okay you check first whether the road is clear okay whether another uh, motorist is crossing the road whether the, there's something else in front of you you assess the people behind you before you pull into the i mean uh, the highway or whatever you want to do okay the same thing the indicator are telling us when we are trading they tell us okay uh, it looks like this what they are telling us they are, they are telling us there is a high probability of uh, of a selling pressure here that's what the, the rsi is telling us here okay we say okay thank you very much rsi okay now we we, we look at it okay what we do how do we we do do we uh, measure that we check uh, with our trend line okay we say thank you rsi and then we draw our trend line now okay then we look 
thinking carefully what's going on okay even because these indicators sometimes they tell you information early especially the 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 rs indicator is a leading indicator sometimes you tell you before the the actual situation is happening okay it's like an internal uh, indicator uh, telling us something advanced okay now we'll stick to the, the rsi thank you for the information given to us we'll examine whether what you are telling us uh, is confirmed or not okay and then when we observe the price and the price itself which is the number one indicator give us the bell okay you give us the bell didn't 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 sell we sell okay and then we follow the price with the number one indicator that's how you use this uh, indicator so you know now that uh, this rsi uh, 14 or any rsi that you use is uh, uh, quite uh, a very strong correlation between the rsi and the simple moving average 50 very strong you can observe it on many charts you will see sometimes as soon as yes you can see here i hope uh, this is clear here you see the, here if you follow my cursor here the rsi is has crossed the yellow line here which is the the middle line the 50 line of the rsi okay and then at the same time here if you look up here the price has crossed also the a simple moving of a 50 here right here okay and also if you follow my cursor carefully here the rsi is near the overbought so which is the 70 70 level here the price also was touching the upper bullish bar of a bullish bar 50 deviation too same thing here so when the rsi is uh, overbought we know that we will sell the price if the price is at uh, the upper bullish bar of uh, 50 uh, volatility too and now we examine the selling pressure or the, the buying pressure depending on what we are trying to do at that particular level okay as you can see also here uh, i hope i have enough time uh, to show you many of this information regarding the rsi indicator here you see the rsi is above the the the, the 70 the, the zone okay it is overbought here and what's happening here the price also is touching the upper bollinger band 50 uh, volatility too okay so this this is a very important information to know okay so you don't just sell anytime the rsi is overbought but uh, you observe exactly what the price the number one indicator is telling us in order to have uh, a healthy market okay because uh, if you are trading and you see uh, you will see very often that a lot of you see how these candles are here a lot of people were busy selling here selling here selling here and the price just going up okay some may be even taken out of the trade before the price start falling down here okay so you have to know first when to time your trade okay to time your trade perfectly okay so to know exactly when is the best time to enter uh, the market okay and make your decision okay even though the rsi was telling us since here that is overboard we say to the rsi thank you and we observe what the rsi is telling us and uh, decide okay according to the the price itself if your trading method is only using double top and double bottom you make more money than anybody else who is using other trading method okay so because the double top and the double bottom are telling a validation of support and resistance level and if you use that in combination with the other indicator that are helping they are that are there okay they are there only to help us to know uh, exactly uh, uh, what's going on okay my timing is coming to an end that's why i have uh, this uh, small screen here so i know exactly uh, how many more uh, me a second i got left for you too lovely people thank you to you too okay so here we have here the rsi uh, is again overbought and the price was in the upper zone and you can see here uh, the, the rsi uh, is around this uh, middle line here and the price is still above uh, this uh, uh, sma 50 okay so i hope uh, this uh, video is useful to you in order to improve your trading and also that we have a healthy market a lot of people becoming more professional dedicated following the rule of trading okay and that's only exactly what the price is telling us the number one indicator so that we can all uh, gain something out of uh, uh, this market the broker make the money we make our money because right now the brokers are making more money than us 80 percent of the traders are losing consistently because they do not have a winning trading system if you want to check my trading uh, system the tstw24 you may do so and check the previous video at uh, and i'll go to the www.stochasticmadi.com in order to get a copy of my powerful tool that uh, for the first time is released to the, the market okay so during a strong downtrend the price will be below the sma 50 and when the rsi reaches the overbought level we assess right here or oh, you see here and what the price telling us and we make our decision only based on what the price is telling us okay so till next time enjoy yourself and be very very happy thank you